In this video, we're going to define um, linear combination, and then we're going to do an example. So we'll start with the definition. So let k be greater than or equal to 1. So we say a vector v, so a vector v is said to be, said to be, a linear combination, so linear combination okay, of other vectors. So linear combination of the vectors. And so here we're going to have other vectors, uh, v sub 1, comma, v sub 2, comma, dot, 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 comma, v sub k. All of these are in Rn. If, if we can find scalars, so if there exists, there exists scalars, say alpha 1, alpha 2, dot, 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 alpha k, uh, real numbers, such that, and I was about to say that v is a linear combination of them, that's, that's, that's what we're defining, though. <laughs> so it's uh, alpha 1, v sub 1, plus dot, 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 plus alpha k, v sub k. So if you can write it this way, we say v is a linear combination of these other vectors, v sub 1 through uh, v sub k. So that's what it means uh, for v to be a linear combination of these, of these, other, uh, of these other vectors. Okay, so... Um, let's go ahead and um, do a, an example. Right, let's do an example. And let's do a somewhat challenging example. It looks tough. I haven't done it yet, so we'll have to be really careful. So we're going to show, we're going to show that um, this vector here, 4, 3, 7, is a linear combination. So is a linear, I'll just put combo of, and then we have other vectors here. We have um, 3, 0, negative 1, um, 1, 4, 3, and then we have uh, negative 1, 1, 0. So to show that this vector here is a linear combination of these down here. So let's go ahead and do it uh, very, very carefully. So solution. So to show that 4, 3, 7, and if you look at the definition, it just basically says that you take a constant times each vector. You see you have alpha 1 times v1. I didn't write the next one, but it would have been alpha 2, v2, etc. right? So um, we can use alpha 1, but let's just, um, let's use, we can use alpha, beta, and gamma, but my, my alphas look like gammas, so it's a little bit, ah, let's use alpha, beta, gamma. I'll be bold. So alpha, 3, 0, negative 1, plus beta. Could have used A, B, C as well, right? X, Y, Z if you really want to. Although that's kind of weird. Um, typically, you don't use X, Y, Z because those are typically like vector components. So hence the Greek letters. Plus, and then gamma. i got to be really careful with my gammas. Negative 1, 1, 0. So that's what we want. We need to find uh, alpha, beta, and gamma such that uh, this equation uh, holds true. So now we can just use properties of vector uh, scalar multiplication and addition. So on the left-hand side, we still have the vector 4, 3, 7. So nothing uh, changes there. Here we can distribute the alpha. So we get 3 alpha. Okay, and then the next one would be beta times 1, so plus beta. And then gamma times negative 1, so minus gamma. Okay. And then the second row, the second entry, uh, would be 0 alpha, so just 0, I won't write it, plus 4 beta. And then plus gamma, right, plus gamma. And the last one would be minus alpha, right, alpha times negative 1, uh, plus 3 beta. And then 0 gamma, so I won't bother to write it. All right, we have a vector equation. That means the components must be equal, right? Two vectors are equal when the components are equal. So let me switch colors. Let me go to a brighter color. So 3 alpha plus beta minus gamma equals 4. Then we have 4 beta okay, plus gamma equals 3. 
And then we have negative alpha plus 3 beta equals 7. So now we have to work through this. So I'm thinking first um, we can get rid of the alphas. Let's multiply the third equation by 3 and add it to the first equation. So let's multiply third by 3. So I'm going to go ahead and show that step. I don't want to mess up at all. So we're going to get negative 3 alpha because 3 times negative alpha is negative 3 alpha then plus 9 beta and that's equal to 21 right 21 3 times 7 is 21 so just multiplied this bottom one here uh, by 3 and I wrote that over here now I'm gonna go ahead and write the first one again so 3 alpha being trying to be very careful uh, plus beta minus gamma equals 4 okay and now we can add these so these cancel, so we get 10 beta minus gamma equals 25. So we're here. So now we have this new equation. So now we can combine this with this equation here. Okay, so we have 4 beta plus gamma equals 3. My gammas look like R's almost. <laughs> so you can see 10 beta plus 4 beta is 14 beta. Oh, this is good. These cancel. So here we get 28. And I'm very excited about that because when you divide by 14, you get a nice whole number. So we're probably doing it right. So beta is equal to 2. Now I'm sure we are doing it right. So there's beta, and that's 2. So I'm going to put this in a box. That's called an accomplishment. I'm going to plug it back in here. So we have 4 beta plus gamma equals 3. Okay. Plug the beta in there. We get 4 times 2 plus gamma equals 3. So we have 8 plus gamma equals 3, right? So subtracting 8 uh, looks like we get gamma equals negative 5, right? Gamma equals negative uh, 5. Uh, did I do that right? I think it's negative 5. Yeah, gamma equals negative 5 should be, should be good. All right, now I just need alpha. So I'm going to use the first equation to find alpha. So we have beta, we have gamma, so we have 3 alpha plus beta minus gamma equals 4 using the first equation. So you have 3 alpha. Beta was 2. Gamma was negative 5, but there's already a negative here, so it's going to be a 5. So that's equal to 4. So you have 3 alpha plus 7 equals 4. So 3 alpha, uh, subtract 7, so that's going to give us a negative 3. Divide by 3, so alpha is negative 1. Boom, we've produced alpha, beta, and gamma, and we're done. Right? We've shown uh, it's a linear, uh, a linear combination. We could write it to be formal. So recall we had 4, 3, 7 equals. And let's check the first one. The first one was um, 3, 0, negative 1. Okay, so 3, 0, negative 1. And our alpha was negative 1, so negative 1 times... Uh, 3, 0, negative 1. Let's scroll back up, see what the next one was. Um, 1, 4, 3. So 1, 4, 3. And our beta was 2. So it's plus 2. 1, 4, 3. Okay. Let me scroll back up, back up and look at the third vector. Negative 1, 1, 0. Okay, negative 1, 1, 0. So minus, and then I'm going to leave a space here, negative 1, 1, 0, and then the uh, gamma was 5, so minus 5. So that's it. We've shown that this vector is a linear combination of the others. I hope this video uh, has been helpful to someone out there in the world. That's it.